Welcome Scorpio to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 2nd of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week your two ruling planets from Wednesday start to conflict with one another. Mars clashing with Pluto is very intense to say the least but Mars is in the part of your situation to do with things that aren't necessarily immediately obvious, the 12th house. Pluto in the part of your chart, very much to do with quick, uh, instant conversations, particularly text messages and emails. But Mars also comes in to join in with the square that's been going on between the North Node and Pluto since the middle of July. So it's a really potential ignition point in the relationship that's already been a little bit tricky between those two. Also, Mercury arrives on Thursday into the sign of Libra, joining up with the Sun and your traditional ruler of Mars. Mercury in Libra is actually really good on the face of it. It's about developing our listening skills. It's about trying to find that point of balance. It's being a bit more detached in terms of hearing other people's viewpoints, perhaps, but it is immediately challenged by the rather tense energy of Saturn. If there are some issues that have been rumbling in the depths for some while, is probably the best way I can say it. Despite the fact that Venus and Mars still retain a, a, a lovely alliance this week, and I think professionally, if especially if you're a more creative person, uh, something you've been doing behind the scenes or in a big organisation, perhaps in an institution where your dedication is balanced with a delicacy in the way you interact with others, that could still bring you a reward. But ironically, both Venus and Mars are conflicted by Pluto. Venus in a quincunx, Mars in that square. And the quarter moon that occurs on Friday is in your sister water sign of Cancer. So for you, that's the ninth house, which can amplify, exaggerate. And the twelfth house position of the sun is where you want to protect yourself. It's where you may feel vulnerable. You may want to retreat or withdraw. But Mars in the twelfth house has a habit of sparking deeply held frustrations, roots of past injustices that may have never really been fully cleared. So all of this suggests that although you can be very direct and blunt in your observations upon other people, you can be very guarded when it comes to what you will allow other people to say about you. And that can see you controlling your privacy in a way. But I feel that someone may out Scorpio you this week, to be honest. I think it's entirely possible that someone is going to reveal a point of view about your approach, your attitudes, your instincts that surprises you. You might not see it come in. This forecast may help you to some degree, uh, but it is possible that if someone has been building up some resentment for some while about how they see it, that you're available, you retreat, it may feel to them that the relationship is too much on your terms and that control, because that's what Pluto can be about, could be something that can be very combustible when we bring Mars into the mix. And it's either your sense of injustice that's going to come to the surface powerfully or someone else's, or perhaps both of you are going to find yourself uh, opening up and sharing some revelations that may be painful but actually, once they are shared and aired and ventilated, it could actually prove to be cathartic, even if the process of going through that transaction in itself is quite uncomfortable. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd be honoured if you would like, comment or subscribe. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of a unique opportunity, year 2023 is speeding by, year 2024 is racing towards us. If you order your year 2024 personal horoscope forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 23 
free of charge but you also get the whole of 24 plus in my special package of 30% off your character analysis report your life roadmap which will help you to uh, understand the patterns that have played out in your life so far and gain a much more intimate understanding of how to work with the energies that you were born with and each chart is totally unique to the person i prepare it for please see the link below for more information mm -hmm.